thought for the day, brothers and sisters, today on this brutally cold morning here in New York, it's like two below zero, and I'm going to be helping my wife get to work, so I'm in my car warming it up. And this morning I was reading in my devotional time in Ezekiel chapter 13, where God is speaking about the false prophets and how they were giving people false hopes back then. Verse 22, the Bible tells us there in Ezekiel 13 that these false prophets were condemning the righteous and they were justifying the wicked. My friends, do not believe everything you hear, even in the Christian circles today. 1 John chapter 4, verse 1 tells us to test the spirits to see if they are from God, because many false prophets have gone out into the world. 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 15 tells us to study yourself approved, rightly dividing the word of truth. Ephesians chapter 4, verses 14 and 15, the Bible tells us to speak the truth in love, not to be cast away with different winds of doctrine. My friends, you see me on Facebook and YouTube pretty much every day. By the grace of God, I have been able to, through 34 years of being a Christian, to memorize scripture verses. However, that's not enough. You have to test it for yourself to see it is from, really from God. The final warning in the Bible, and there were many warnings throughout scriptures in Revelation chapter 22, verses 18 and 19, God tells us not to add to the words of God's word, the Bible, not to take away anything from the word of God. I believe that it's not enough to say we believe in Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. What I mean by that is in James chapter 2, verse 19, the Bible tells us that even the devils believe in God and shudder. Mark chapter 1, we read of a man who was in the synagogue, and this man had an evil spirit. And in verse 24, these evil spirits even knew who Jesus was. So it's not enough to say you go to church. It's not enough to say you believe in God. The difference is obedience. I had parents when I was younger. We have a heavenly father up in heaven. But when I was a child growing up, it wasn't enough to say that my mother and my father were my mother and father and just believe it. What really made my relationship with them more intimate was obeying what they told me to do. That shows that you really love somebody. 1 John chapter 2, verse 3 tells us if we know the Lord or love him, we'll obey his commands. That is the litmus test. Do you truly follow Christ in your life? Search the scriptures, the Bible tells us in John chapter 5, verse 39. Jesus told us, search the scriptures for they testify of me. Many false prophets have gone out there. They can have personalities. They could quote the Bible here and there. They might even say, you know what, go to church and you'll be a good person. They might even say, believe in Jesus, accept Jesus. And yes, we ought to do that. But Jesus told us also in Matthew chapter 7, verse 21, 23, that not everybody who says, Lord, Lord, will I acknowledge, but he who does the will of my Father in heaven. Christ told us in Matthew chapter 25, verses 31 to 46, that he will separate the, wheat, the, the sheep from the goat, goats by the works that we did. When I was in prison, you came and visited me. When I was sick, you came and comforted me. When I was hungry, you gave me food. This doesn't mean that we're saved by our works, but faith that saves us is alone. We're saved by faith in Christ alone, but that faith is never alone. A tree is known by its fruits. I hope this little devotional, brothers and sisters, will help us all to seriously take the warning from Ezekiel 13. Many false prophets have gone out in the world. This is a cold world. Yesterday I was doing a devotional video out in the woods. Sometimes you see them in a wooded area where I live. And there was a dead cat on the ground. And this dead cat had no head. The head was decapitated. It's a sick world. People have been given over to a reprobate mind. And as much as people will say that that's crazy what that person did to that cat, think of this, the same people will say there's nothing wrong with killing a baby in the mother's womb. A, a, a seed that, Christ, that God put in that mother. Psalm 139 verses 13 and 14, Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 5 tells us this, that that baby in the womb is from God. And yet many people will say it's a woman's choice, but yet they'll be frantic and hysterical if they see a dead cat on the ground. We live in a very confused world. Romans chapter 1 verses 18 to 32, the Bible tells us that God sometimes gives people over to a reprobate mind because why? Verse 18 says they suppress the truth, the truth of God's word. 
I'll end with this. Jesus Christ, our dear Lord and Savior, said in John chapter 17, verse 17, Sanctify them, Lord God, by Heavenly Father, by your truth. Thy word is truth. My friends, get up in the morning, read your Bible, spend time with God. Test the spirits. I hope that I could be of a blessing to some here on Facebook and YouTube. Um, it's not about me. When you hear me talk, I try to quote the Bible as much as I can because I want you to go to the Word of God. Many false prophets have very deceitful personalities. They look very handsome and charming. They, they gravitate you in. They'll say, peace, peace, when there is no peace. They will lead you astray. Someone who's really telling you what the Word of God tells you is going to hurt. Sometimes medicine doesn't taste good, but it's curable. It's, it's medicinal. It will help you get better. When I was a young boy, I remember my mom sometimes would give us things, medicines like castor oil. Didn't taste good, but it actually made you feel better. Sometimes we have to say things that are not, not going to make you feel good, but it's going to give you what you really, really need, a conviction of sin. Jesus Christ gave us the Holy Spirit in John chapter 16, verse 8. That Holy Spirit is going to convict, of us, uh, convict us of sin. I will end by saying, read Galatians chapter 5. You will see the fruits of the flesh and the fruits of the Spirit. Which one are you following? Are you following your flesh or are you following the leading of the Holy Spirit in your life? God bless you all. Feel free to share this devotional video today. If you see it on YouTube, subscribe to my YouTube page on the bottom. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ who see this on Facebook, thank you for sharing this as we get the Word of God out, the true Word of God out together. Stay strong in Christ this day.